Dear students, in the last session, I had explained the phase discriminator method for generating SSP modulated wave. But in this session, I will explain the generation of AM signal by using collector modulator. AM signal is generated by combining the two signals that means high frequency signal and also low frequency signal. That means high frequency signal means it is a carrier signal and low frequency signal means baseband signal or modulating signal to a non-linear device. You know the amplitude modulator. The device which used to generate an amp amplitude modulated wave is known as amplitude modulator and also modulator. It is a device used for superimposing a low frequency modulating signal on a high frequency carrier signal. AM generator is classified as depending on the input terminal to which the information signal is applied. There are three types of modulators. One is collector modulator, second one is a base modulator and third one is a emitter modulator. First one, collector modulator. In collector modulator, the information signal is fed to the collector terminal of the transistor amplifier. And next, base modulator. In base modulator, the information signal is fed to the base terminal of the transistor amplifier. The same thing in the emitter modulator. The in emitter modulator, the information signal is fed to the emitter terminal of the transistor amplifier. Next, depending on ready tape power level of the signal is applied. There are two types of modulators. First one low level modulator and second one is the high level modulators. First one low level modulators. The low level modulators are generate AM with small signal and must be amplified before transmission. The high level modulators generate AM with high power levels usually in the final stage of the transmitters. Next, collector modulator. The collector modulator is an example of high level modulator. This, this circuit is called, called a collector modulator because the modulating signal is given on the given to the collector. It consists of a radio frequency amplifier operated in class C mode. In, you know in class C amplifier the transistor conducts for less than half cycle of the input signal. In this circuit, the resistors R1 and R2 forms a voltage divider, voltage divider bias to base, term, base terminal and the combination of LC that means inductor and capacitor forms a tank circuit to produce a particular high frequency signal. The signal to be modulated is connected to the class C amplifier through the transformer T1 and the secondary winding of the transformer T1 connects this modulating signal in series with the collector supply, I mean supply voltage VCC. Thus, the amplitude of a collector current changes with the amplitude of the modulating signal. Next, it's working. When, when an audio signal is fed to the transformer T1, that means transformer T1, this induces the voltage at the secondary. The induced voltage is added or subtracted from the VCC depending on the phase at the instant of time. This means that the collector supplies for a transistor is not constant. With the change of collector voltage, the transistor output characteristics and the Q point will changes. Hence, this causes the amplitude of the current pulses in the transistor to change. These current pulses cause the tuned circuit to oscillate at the desired output frequency. So as a result, across the tank circuit, we get a sinusoidal radio frequency voltage at carrier frequency whose peak amplitude changes in accordance with the amp modulating signal that means is a baseband signal. Thus, an AM wave is generated.
Next, circuit analysis. In collector modulator, the information signal that means audio signal, I mean modulating signal or baseband signal is fed in series with DC power to the collector terminal. The effective collector voltage is given by VCC mod that is equals to VCC DC plus EM. The instantaneous voltage of modulating signal is given by EM small em equals to capital EM sin omega m into t. You know, substitute for EM we get VCC mod that is equals to VCC DC plus VEM sin omega m into t. Say the equation 1. For maximum modulation, m equals to 1, that means 100% modulation. Without distortion, the effective voltage swing between 0 to 2 volts, to, I mean 0 to 2 VCC DC as shown in the figure. At maximum modulation, m equals to 1. For all m equals to 1, em equals to VCC DC. Substitute the above condition in equation 1. Therefore, VCC mod equals VCC DC plus M VCC DC sin omega M into T. Next, VCC mod equals to VCC DC. I am taking common VCC DC into 1 plus M sin omega M into T. The output voltage is given by V0, I mean VO equals VCC mod sin omega ct substitute for vcc mod we get v vo equals vcc dc into 1 plus m sin omega m into t into sin omega ct say the equation 2 in general you know the instantaneous voltage of am signal is small e equals ec into 1 plus m sin omega m into t into sin omega ct Say that equation 3. So, comparing these two equations, that means equation 2 and equation 3, it stated that it is it can be stated that the output of collector modulator is AM signal. The advantages of this modulator is first one, it has good linearity. Second one, circuit efficiency is high, and third one, high power output. The main disadvantages of this modulator is 100% modulation cannot be achieved because, because of saturation of collector current. Thank you.